Culane Castle Ayrshire Scotland, the Clan Kennedy home. Following on from my previous videos featuring Robert Burns' cottage in Alloway, and the Croy Bray also known as the Electric Bray, we now take a look at the beautiful Culane Castle. Continuing, on the A719 road from Ayr, and past the small fishing village of Dunyore, glimpses of Culane Castle can be seen standing on a cliff, looking out to sea. Some nice views of the castle can be seen, by driving down to the upper car park, at Croyshaw Beach. The chief of Clan Kennedy, the Marquis of Ayrshire, used to own the castle until 1945. But today it is owned and run, by the National Trust for Scotland. The castle enjoys some beautiful clifftop views over the Firth of Clyde, and is set in a forested park, with pleasant walks running down to a sandy shore. The 10th Earl of Cassilis, is responsible for the rebuilding of the then existing castle. He instructed Robert Adam, an architect of high esteem during the 18th century, to create the castle that we see today. The rebuild was carried out between 1777 and 1792 and features a grand oval staircase, which spirals its way up through the middle of this fine country house. Entertainment would be held in the area, known as the Round Drawing Room. From here, guests would be able to take in the fine panoramic scenery, stretching along the Firth of Clyde. The oval staircase also provides access to apartment suites, of equal elegance. Part of the agreement, when the castle was passed on to the National Trust for Scotland, was to ensure that the uppermost apartment, be presented to Dwight D. Eisenhower. This was to be a thank you to the American Army General, for services performed as the Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in Europe, during World War II. The castle was home to the General on four occasions from 1946, including a time, when he was the United States President. The ties with Culane Castle and America don't end there. The castle was refurbished and opened up again in April 2011, after the National Trust for Scotland were generously gifted a donation by William Lindsay. Mr. Lindsay, an American millionaire, seemingly had been interested in the holidays Dwight D. Eisenhower had spent at Culane. And this, even though Lindsay had never set foot on Scottish soil. The 600-acre, Culane Castle Country Park estate receives around a quarter of a million visitors each year. There is plenty to do for all the family both indoors and outdoors, as well as having access to an on-site restaurant. There is a huge armory display which is the biggest of its kind, and only surpassed by the display found at Windsor Castle, owned by Her Majesty the Queen. If castle living is for you, then a booking can be made to stay in a suite, or a bedroom, in the grand circular drawing room, as a special treat. Or even book up, the entire Eisenhower as it is referred to, for a wedding, an anniversary, a birthday, or just about any special event you have coming up. Please take a few moments, to subscribe to my channel below, for more videos about Scotland.